Today we're at the Canada Agriculture and Food Museum. They call it the world's only working farm located in the heart of a capital city. My name is Ariane Richardson. I'm an education officer here at the Canada Agriculture and Food Museum on the grounds of the Central Experimental Farm here in Ottawa. The purpose is to show people, but often city dwellers, what their, where their food comes from, what agriculture is all about, how farmers do their jobs, uh, really the whole process from farm to table. We get a lot of people coming who think their eggs and milk come from a refrigerator, really, and don't necessarily know about the work that's involved in bringing that to their tables. So from what we're seeing at the museum, uh, we're seeing a lot of people who are interested in having their own gardens, having their own farm, so to speak, uh, whether it's on their front lawns, in their backyards, who are looking to plant in city spaces or city gardens. And so I think it's really taking off in popularity. This is not your typical museum. Tell us where we are and what we're doing here. It's not. So we have live animals here. We're in the middle of the dairy barn. So this is a heritage building. It's been here since 1914. And this is where our 50 dairy cattle are housed during the day um, while they're waiting to be milked. And this is a place where visitors can come and first of all, see these amazing animals up close. It's pretty impressive to be next to a dairy cow. They're really big and learn about where their milk comes from. So every day at four o'clock, people can come and see a milking demonstration, see milking happening, and, and really get a sense of how that works. So this is part of the milking machine that we use for the cows. My name is Jillian MacDougall, and I'm one of the education and interpretation assistants here at the Canada Agriculture and Food Museum. I help with the scheduling and the daily demonstrations and a lot of the programming here at the museum. A lot less people are farming now, so we have fewer people doing more work because they want to feed the whole country and other places. So not only do we have less people farming, but we have to find more efficient ways to farm. Um, a lot of our visitors too, I find a lot of our older visitors will, might not have grown up on a farm themselves, but at least had that connection. Maybe a grandfather or an uncle or a family member had that experience that they could share. Where a lot of, especially the younger children or uh, people maybe moving to Canada, might not have that experience and they might not know where their food comes from.